Hey y'all, my name is EJ. I'm a musician here on YouTube and I've done a series of Tascam videos in the past and I haven't done one in a while, but I've had a request, an incessant request. He's been driving me nuts. So I decided I'd sit down and do it. His name is uh, Yusuf Yayo. Uh, he's requested that I do a demo of how to record simultaneously into your DAW and into the Tascam Model 16. And so that's what this video is going to be about. And I'm going to use this uh, Yamaha bass. I'm going to go wirelessly with this Boss wireless system directly into there, record a track into here and into my DAW simultaneously. So here we go. All right, so what I need to do first is in my DAW, I need to create a track and I'm going to, want, I'm going to record a bass. So I'm going to use input four, as you can see where my cursor's at. And I'm going to create that. And I'm actually going to want to put some effects on that. So I'm going to go to electric guitar and bass. I'm going to go to clean bass. And I want this flange and stereo. All right. And so I'm going to disarm that so you can actually hear it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug my wireless into track four. And I'm going to plug the other end of my bass. And when I created that track, the outputs were on tracks one and two. That's the outputs from the DAW. And I selected my input to be track four. So whenever you go in your DAW, here I'll create another, another one just so, so you can see an example. So guitar, bass, see I have my input four, output one and two. And I'm not gonna create that, but I just wanted you to see that. I just wanna reemphasize that. All right, so I've already created my track here, flange and stereo, and, I, and I've got my bass plugged in but I don't have any levels, so I need to set my levels. Now one thing I want you to notice, even though this is my input on track four, I have the mode switch selected all the way over to live. It's live slash USB, live direct USB. That's important, so I want to record simultaneously onto the task cam and into the DAW. Now the effects that I have out on the DAW will not record into the task cam. It's basically using the Tascam Model 16 like a DI box. So I'm going to go down here. I have it muted. I have the main released. I have the PFL released and I have the fader all the way down. Now on my output, I'm going to go ahead and depress the mains, depress the PFLs, and I have my sliders, my faders up to zero. So right now I have no levels. Do you see nothing's indicating here? and the main, unmute the main, and I'm going to turn the main up a little bit, and how I'm going to get my levels for my DAW input is on track four, I'm going to turn the trim knob up until I get some, there, we get, we're getting some sound now. Okay, I now I'm going to turn it up because I like my level to just be getting into the six on heavy play. Okay, that's what I want right there. So that's my level set, and now I'm going to go into my DAW and well actually now I'm going to arm the record button on the model 16 and I'm going to push record and then I'm going to push record in my DAW Stop record, stop record on the Model 16, and in the DAW, we're going to listen to the play, but I'm going to unarm the, the Model 16. Matter of fact, I'm going to unplug my bass from it because I don't want my, my wireless transmitters, the batteries running down, so I'm going to go ahead and take those out, and I'm going to switch my Tascam to MTR, multi-track recorder, for, for use here in a minute. It, that's not pertinent to what I'm fixing to show you. So this is a track that we recorded into the DAW. Okay, so that's the DAW. And now let's play back what was recorded in the Model 16. So I'm going to mute the outputs here. I'm going to release all that. 
and then on track four, I got it switched to MTR, unmuted, main on, PFL on, fader up. I'm going to rewind it and play. And I'll take a second because it was a delayed. There we go. Now that's an unaffected signal. It has no effects on it. But I, it's the exact same thing I recorded into the DAW. So you see how that works. So that's separate from the DAW, but it has the benefit of being um, played with a track, a rhythm track or a drum track in the DAW to keep time. Now I can use that and, and play it back and record my own drums over or guitar or add different effects to it or whatever I want. And, and uh, that's, the, that's the usefulness. It's Like I said, it's basically like a backup recording uh, using the Tascam Model 16 somewhat as a DI box. So there you have it, uh, recording simultaneously into your DAW and into the Tascam Model 16. Why would you want to do that? Well, you might want to create a track. Uh, you, maybe you have an idea that you want to explore using a, a rhythm track on your DAW that you can record, isolate the recording. I mean, you could isolate it in the DAW too, I guess, but uh, or have just a backup recording that you could say, have saved directly on the Tascam Model 16 and then you could play another instrument and record it directly without the interference of the drum track. Um, there's just multiple, I mean of course you have it saved on the SD card and, uh, and then that makes it convenient if you have a, a band that has another Tascam or um, I don't know, I mean the, the options are you know, limitless. I mean why do we do anything? It's just one more facet of the capabilities of the Model 16 as a, a USB interface for your DAW and simultaneously as a multi-track recorder to capture two versions of your performance to use however you see fit. And that's basically the idea, however you see fit. So uh, Yusuf Yayo, I hope you're happy. <laughs> thanks for the idea and thanks for watching guys. Peace!